When looking to buy cannabis, you have two main options of consumption, either to smoke it or to consume it orally, in other words, edibles. But what one is better? The debate goes on and on. Today, I'm hoping to clear some of that information up. I will be breaking down how your body absorbs each one, what the effects are, basically what one is right for you. First, we'll start off with the one everyone did in the past to consume weed, smoking. When you first spark the lighter, heat starts to burn the cannabis, changing the compound THCA to the compound that we all know and love, THC. That THC is bundled in the smoke that is inhaled into your lungs. Your lungs are with millions of avili. Avili are tiny air sacs where gas exchange occurs. It only takes a couple of seconds for your lungs to absorb the smoke after you inhale it, then break it down into your bloodstream that leads to your brain. This whole action actually occurs pretty fast, and you should feel that high feeling within a couple of minutes. Though burning cannabis, you are able to get around 50% of the THC into your blood plasma. While you do get a great high that affects you quite quickly, the drop-off rate is also quite fast, with some people feeling back to normal within an hour, but on the rare occasion it can last up to three. There are some negatives that go along with any kind of smoke that damages your lungs, so people thought of a different way to consume marijuana, and that's where edibles come into play. Edibles are basically the THC compound in oil form used to mix in with baking materials to make something quite delicious, but at the same time get you pretty high. While you eat edibles, the food travels down to your stomach where your body starts to break it down. Your stomach then absorbs absorbs the THC into your bloodstream that leads to your brain. This whole process is quite longer, taking up to an hour and gradually reach a peak within several hours, then slowly declines. While the effects do last longer, your body is actually taking in a smaller amount of THC in. This may be because Delta 9 THC is poorly soluble in water. So after learning about each way to consume cannabis, we have to figure out which one is right for you. In short, if you're wanting to get a short high for a morning or night, or you just want to consume more THC for medical reasons, I would recommend smoking or vaping your cannabis. If you're wanting a long lasting high for a chill day or for medical reasons, I would recommend edibles. I have heard some people say when they try edibles that it lasts quite a long time for them, so something to keep in mind. I want to hear you guys' experience on that. What's your craziest stories ever happened to you? But I I do like to keep these videos short, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. I always keep my citations in the description if you're wanting to read up on the information on your own. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's what the down arrow is for. If you guys haven't seen my last video, it'll be on the screen right about now. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.